Hey there, so there's 12 mistakes that you can easily avoid if you want to make better looking Pocket 3 videos. The first mistake is to not change the joystick speed in the settings when you're filming and you're using the joystick to move the gimbal. So this is what it looks like with the joystick speed set to 7 which is the maximum. Gimbal moves really quickly and it really doesn't look good. You're going to want to change that joystick speed to the minimum value which is 1. You can see it's a lot smoother now and looks a lot more movie like. Mistake 2 is to expect your gimbal to do too much work for you when you're doing walking shots. So this is me just walking normally and I'm not really paying too much attention to the gimbal. I'm just kind of plodding along as I would ordinarily walk. And you can see from that that everything's moving up and down. So when you're doing walking shots you want to be a bit more intentional and you want to walk from heel to toe and that's going to try and cut down on some of that gimbal movement. Also don't walk barefoot on spiky rocks. Mistake three is to not use tilt lock mode for the gimbal when you're doing panning shots. So I've got the gimbal set to tilt lock mode and you can see as I do this pan the horizon stays nice and centered but if I set the gimbal to follow mode you can see that if I accidentally move the gimbal up and down while I'm panning the horizon moves as well so you're going to end up with not quite a smooth a pan. Mistake four is to not use the wide angle adapter if you have it. This is what a shot looks like without the wide angle adapter and this is what it looks like with the wide angle adapter. You can also use the wide angle adapter while you're vlogging like this just to give you a bit more space in the frame around you and show off what's in the background a bit more but more than that using the wide angle adapter will change up how your shots feel so they don't all kind of feel a bit the same. Related to number four mistake five is to not mix up your shot sizes when you're filming with your pocket three. You don't just want big wide shots like this all the time or vlogging shots like this all the time. You want to mix it up and that means getting close-ups of things in the scene. Using your pocket three on a tripod like this so you can get a bit further away from it. It helps if you've got the wireless mic for this. You're really just trying to bring your pocket three videos to life a bit more. Mistake five and a half is to not subscribe to this channel if you want more pocket three tips. Mistake six is leaving your pocket three in continuous focus mode like this when you're doing a reveal shot because in a second it's going to do an autofocus bump to the background. Instead what you want to do is switch to pro mode and then change to single focus mode, tap in the background to focus on that and then reposition the gimbal and then do your reveal. That way the background's already in focus. Mistake seven is to not click the battery handle or extension grip in properly. You need to hear two clicks to make sure it's firmly in place, otherwise it could accidentally fall off and you could lose your pocket three. Mistake number eight is to not set the appropriate gimbal speed when you're filming. Currently it's set to slow and as I'm moving around, you can see that there's a bit of a lag as the gimbal's trying to catch up with me, but it probably feels fairly smooth and fairly nice. And this is what it looks like with that gimbal rotational speed set to fast. You can see it's kind of keeping up with me a bit more. The gimbal's moving quicker, but it feels a bit less smooth and a bit less movie-like. But sometimes that's what you need if you're moving quickly. Mistake nine, if you're not using the wireless mic two and you're using the internal microphones on the Pocket 3, is to not set the directional audio depending on how and where you're filming. This is what it sounds like with the microphone direction set to all around when you're using the internal mics. And this is what it sounds like with the internal mic direction set to front only. And this is what it sounds like with the mic direction set to front and back. Mistake 10 is if you're using the DJI Mic 2 transmitter with your Pocket 3, is not to correctly set the volume when you first get it. It comes as a pretty good default sound of the box, but you want to fine tune it to the loudness and the sound of your voice. Mistake 11 is to not reframe your shot when you're using Active Track. So Active Track's turned off at the minute. I'm going to double tap the screen, and now we've got Active Track enabled. And by default, it's just going to try and keep me in the center of the frame here. But what you can actually do once you've enabled Active Track is you can use the 5D joystick and you can reframe where you want yourself in the Active Track picture. Now, if I walk around, it's actually going to keep me to that side of the frame, even though it's still tracking me as I'm walking around. Mistake number 12 is to not set up custom preset shooting modes to make it super quick and easy to use your Pocket 3. And that's exactly what you're gonna learn about if you watch this video next. I'm Jason Roberts, please subscribe, and hopefully I'll see you in the next Pocket 3 video.